Hello everyone. Today we shall study about what are windows in detail. In this we shall understand the definition of a window, the functions of a window in a building, thumb rule for locating a window and the various components of a window. A window is an opening especially in the wall of a building for admission of light and air that is usually closed by casement or sashes containing transparent material such as glass and capable of being opened and shut. It is provided generally on the exterior wall. The functions of windows are they admit light and ventilation, controls the physical atmosphere within a space by enclosing it, excluding air drafts so that interiors may be more effectively heated or cooled. They they act as barrier to noise, used to screen areas of a building for aesthetic purposes, keeping formal and utility areas separate. Security, fire resistance, thermal and sound insulation, privacy, functional and durability. The thumb rules for locating a window are the windows area should be 15 to 20 percent of the floor area. It should meet the functional requirement. For every 30 meter square internal volume, there should be at least 1 meter square of window opening. The windows should be positioned in a way so as to ensure good cross ventilation. In order to avoid glare and have diffused light, it is preferable to provide the window in the northern side of the room. The various components of a window are window frame and window shutter. The technical terms in a window are the frame. The frame is the outer shell of the window. If you are ordering a window, it is measured over all the frame size. Casement. A casement is a hinged sash as we can see here hinge sash that swings these can be either side hung or top hung transo any horizontal bar that splits the window is a transo mullion any vertical bar that splits the window is a mullion jams the vertical position portion of the frame is the jam. The jams bear the weight of the casement. Bead, the small timber section used to secure the glass in place is the bead along with the glazing tape. Drip mold, small bevel profile projecting from the head of the frame designed to enhance protection from the rainwater. Projecting sill, a projecting sill is a beveled profile projecting from the base of the frame. Now I shall ask you a question regarding what we have seen earlier. What are the important considerations for designing a window? You may take a pause for a minute and write the answer on your journal. The design should meet the functional performance and security requirements for any type of window. The dimensions that are ideal for window design are as stated in this slide, where WS means windows opening with single shutter and WT means windows opening with double shutters. So, if you have a window of opening size 600 by 1200 and is with a single shutter, the size of the frame should be 590 by 1190 mm and the size of the shutter would be 500 by 1100 mm. And if you have a double shuttered window with a size of opening 600 by 1300, the size of the frame would be 590 by 1290 mm and the size of the shutter would be 500 by 1200 mm. Thank you.